Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at calculating derivatives using the second fundamental theorem of calculus and the chain rule. So we have calculate the derivative and we have two examples here we want to simplify. So notice for the first question, we have a constant in our lower limit, but our upper limit is not in terms of x. So that tells us that we cannot use the second fundamental theorem of calculus just yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a u substitution. We're going to let u equal x squared. But remember, when we make a u substitution, we want to take the derivative of both sides. So we're going to take ddx of the left side, and we're also going to take ddx of the right side. So on the left side, this essentially just builds du dx. And on the right side, when we take the derivative with respect to x of x squared, using the power rule, we'll see that this is just equal to 2x. So now our next step is to rewrite this integral in a way that we can actually use the second fundamental theorem. So notice for our new integral, it's going to go from 1, but instead of going up to x squared, we're going to replace x squared with u. And now we're just going to rewrite t dt over t plus 1. Our function of t is not changing, we're only changing our function of x in our upper limit. But now notice, when we're taking the derivative originally, we're doing d dx of our function of x up here. But since we changed our variable to u, now we're going to take d du of this new integral here. But notice, we need to be able to revert back to d dx. So if we only write d du of this new integral, this would be incorrect. What we need to do next is multiply by du dx. The reason being, we're originally differentiating with respect to x. So think of these du terms as terms that are going to cancel out. And if we cancel out du over du, it would bring you right back to d dx. So that's why this is a valid move that we must use. So for the next step, now we can use the second fundamental theorem. The ddu and this integral here from 1 to u are going to cancel out, and all we have to do is replace the variable t with the variable u. So our next step here, we're going to write equals, we have u over u plus 1 times du dx. Remember, to use the second fundamental theorem, all we need to do is replace the variable t with the variable u. But now remember, we want to calculate the derivative, but we want to put it back in terms of x now. So instead of u over u plus 1, we're going to replace u with x squared. So we have x squared over x squared plus 1 here like this, times du dx. But du dx is equal to 2x. So when we multiply and simplify this, 2x times x squared is equal to 2x cubed. And we're all over x squared plus 1. So this is our final answer to the first thing. So now for our second integral, we're going to do something very similar that we did for our first integral. Notice we have the same problem. We have a constant in our lower limit, but we have something other than x in our upper limit. We have the function cosine of x. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to let u equal cosine of x, and we're going to take the derivative with respect to x of both sides. So like we saw before, if we take d dx of the left, we're going to have du dx. And if we take the derivative with respect to x of cosine of x, that's going to give us negative sine x. Okay, so we're going to use both pieces of information here to rewrite this integral in terms of u so that we can actually simplify. So we're rewriting this now from negative 5 up to u, and we have t to the fourth dt. But remember, now we're going to take d du of this integral because our variables now in terms of u. But remember, ultimately we need to be able to go back to d dx, so that's why we're going to multiply this by du dx here like this. Because remember, du over du would cancel out, bringing us right back to d dx. But now using the second fundamental theorem, this integral here will just simplify to u to the fourth power. All we're doing is replacing the variable t with the variable u. And we have times du dx. So to simplify this, u to the fourth power, we're going to replace u with cosine of x. So this is cosine to the fourth power x. And now next, we're going to times by du dx. And du dx is equal to negative sine x. So 
to write this as one simplified expression, we can say this is equal to negative cosine to the fourth x times sine of x. And this is going to be our final answer to the second example. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on using the second fundamental theorem of calculus and the chain rule to find the derivatives. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.